Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show how to turn on and off a DC gear motor using an Arduino, a push button switch, and a transistor. The transistor I'm using is from Adafruit. To see additional information about how this transistor works, check out my video, Six Ways to Drive a DC Gear Motor. Let's take a look at the pin layout. 5 volts from Arduino is coming over to the positive rail on the breadboard as well as ground. The transistor is being controlled via this green jumper cable by Arduino Digital Pin 9 and the white jumper cable is connected to Arduino Digital Pin 4 and it's connected to the switch. One of the motor leads is connected via this red cable to the positive terminal of the battery. The negative terminal of the battery is connected via this green jumper wire to the common on the breadboard and the motor's other lead is connected to the center pin of the transistor via this black jumper cable. For additional information on hooking up the switch, check out my Raspberry Pi video on controlling a DC gear motor with your Raspberry Pi. Let's take a look at the code. I've got three integers, button state, state, and last state. We're setting the pin 4 as the input, that's the switch. Pin 9 is the output, that's to the transistor. And we're starting off by writing that to low to make sure the motor's off. We loop through the commands of reading the button state, a digital read of 4, to look to see if the button's on. And this code here has to do with debouncing it. If you don't know what debouncing is, Google it and you can read more about it. Basically, we're checking to make sure that the button is being pressed a discrete time, and then we use the state equals 0 to determine whether that should turn the motor on or off. If state equals 0, that means the motor's off, which means we'll write pin 9 to high, which will turn it on. And if it's not equal to 0, and that means the motor must already be on, in which case we write pin 9 low, and that turns it off. Push the button, and the motor should turn on. Push it again, and it should turn off. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and prototyping videos, please subscribe. Otherwise, that's it for now, folks. Thanks.